Good morning. Um, I just wanted to say that I don't think I'm anybody special or anything like that. I'm no better than anybody. I'm a nothing. But I do love Jesus. I do believe in the Bible. I believe everything it says. And that's where I'm at. I just want everybody to come to Jesus. I don't say it because I think I'm better and I'm pointing fingers and I hope I'm not pointing fingers because I I have been bad and low and sinning and all kinds of stuff. But Jesus had mercy on me. Jesus picked me up. <laughs> Jesus picks me up. I have got compliments on this shirt quite a few times. But um, anyway, I had a short story I wanted to read because I always, I don't know, I just think about it a lot and I've been thinking about it lately and I wanted to read it. It's The Rich Man and Lazarus. Okay. Um, it's in St. Luke, and I will put everything like I try to always in the description box below. Okay, the rich man and Lazarus. And Jesus said it, because it's, it's written in red. It came from Jesus' mouth. Okay. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores and desired to be filled with the crumbs from which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, and be, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in, his, Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am in torments in this flame i am i'm sorry for i am tormented in this flame but abraham said son remember that thy in thy lifetime that thou in thy lifetime receivest good things and likewise lazarus evil things but now he is comforted and thou art tormented and besides all this between us and you is a great gulf fixed so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. Then he said, I pray thee, therefore, Father Abraham, that thou wouldest send to my father's house, send him to my father's house, for I have five brethren that he may testify unto them lest they also come into this place of torment. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Abraham saith unto him, They have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they would repent. And he said unto him, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, uh, Neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Now, in this chapter, in this chapter of Luke, I would rather be Lazarus than the rich man, because the rich man is he is so into himself in the world that he don't want nothing to do with God, Jesus, uh, heaven, anything like that. Please. Jesus loves you. He wants you to come to him. He wants you to repent of your sins so you can be in up in heaven and in the good place and not in torments and in the flame and all that in, in hell. Jesus wants everyone to come to him. He's waiting with open arms. He's just he he's a gentleman. So like I've said it I'm, I'm I don't know how many times. He will not hit you over the head. He will not drag you into heaven. He will not force you. He's just sitting back waiting for you to make a choice because he wants to pick you up. He wants to 
hold you in his arms. He wants to forgive you. He wants to carry you into paradise. He doesn't want anyone to go to torment. That is not what he's about. He is full of love. Please, just think about what I'm saying. Please, just think about the Bible. Think about the rich man. He's in torment. He's already died. He was buried, and he is in hell, and he cannot get out of it. Once you die, if you do not repent of your sins, you will go to torment. You will not go into the bosom of Abraham up in heaven where the angels, everybody, and where it's so wonderful. Jesus loves you. Jesus wants you to repent and ask forgiveness of your sins and not sin no more. It is not hard. Once you repent of your sins and you honestly, with from your heart, ask forgiveness of your sins and repent, once you are forgiven, you don't want to sin no more. You don't want to do those bad things anymore. You want to be good. You want to do good. And I'm not perfect. I still mess up. And I, But I, like I say, I ask prayer. I mean, I ask forgiveness of my sins every day, several times a day. I don't even know how many times a day because I'm afraid... I've done something wrong, or ooh, what if that was wrong? I better ask forgiveness for my sins, or what if I sinned and didn't realize it? I better ask. I am afraid of sinning. I don't want to no more. Life is amazing. Life is wonderful, and I could be, every day that I, that Jesus is around me, I feel like I could just float up to heaven. He makes it so much better. He makes it so much better. Life is amazing. Life is wonderful. I had a bad life. I mean, I was Miss Negativity. Negative Nancy, Debbie Downer, and I'm not blame, I'm not talking about anybody's names like that. I just always said it because it rhymes. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, and I'm not the brightest bulb in the box. I do believe Jesus. I do love Jesus. I am forgiven of my sins. I believe the Bible. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. I want to do good. I want to be good. And I want everybody. I don't want to go to heaven alone. I want everybody to make it to heaven. And right now, I'm not sure who all is going to go with me because, I mean, my family, I'm still, I'm having to pray for them because they don't really want to hear or whatever you want to say. What I have to say, they're not really ready to hear it. I'm going to say that. They're not ready to hear it yet. So I just pray every day that God, God will have mercy on them and, and that they'll get to come to him and serve him. I hope you get to come to Jesus and I hope you get to serve him. I hope you get asked forgiveness. I hope you ask forgiveness of your sins. And I hope you can have a wonderful time on this earth before something else happens. I mean, the world is the world will not be around forever. And the world may be, but the way the world that we know it will not be around forever. Jesus loves you. He died on the cross. He was spit on he was beat he was bloody he was a horrible mess and it's just it's horrific what was done to him and he went through all that and he knew he was going through it but he went through it just so he could give us forgiveness of our sins because the way it was going with where you'd have to sacrifice animals and all that you, that there's no way that could take away your sins and permanently that was just because people would do it and then just it Keep sinning. There wasn't no, it wasn't in the heart. Jesus is in your heart. You have to ask forgiveness of your sins from your heart to Jesus. Believe in him. Mean it. And then life will be better. If You'll have life and you'll have it more abundantly. It'll be amazing. It's the best thing ever. I'm not kidding. And I'm trying so hard not to cry because I always do. But I am so happy. I love him. And sometimes I just get so overwhelmed with loving him and him loving me that I just, it makes me cry. But it's an amazing thing, and I hope you come be a part of it. Because I'm a nobody, but he thinks I'm a, somebody enough to forgive me of my sins. And he's made my life amazing and wonderful. Whether anybody's with me or not, Jesus is, Jesus is with me. When things are bad, he makes them good. When they're good, he makes them amazingly great. Just think about it, please. Please think about Jesus. Please think about turning your life. Please think about asking forgiveness of your sins so you're not... The rich man in torment, your Lazarus in Abraham's bosom. I, uh, I want to say I love you. I don't even know who I'm talking to, but I, I just, I love Jesus. I hope you come to Him and can change your life and make your life grow better and greater than it's ever been. Because I don't care how much money you have, you cannot buy your way to heaven. You cannot buy your way 
forgiveness of your sins. You cannot buy anything that's worth being with Jesus. You cannot buy your way into heaven. You cannot buy your way in the forgiveness of your sins. But you can pray for it and mean it. I thank you. I hope you have a good and blessed day. And I hope I get to talk to you soon. And I hope you think about what I'm saying. Goodbye.